feet high There's a trail through the trees to a cliff where Carolina meets the sky Oh, and there's a view I just can't describe No, we're not there yet, just a few more steps, baby, wait Okay, you can open your... <clears throat> We've gathered today to celebrate one of life's most significant events. It's the joining of two lives into one. It's called the Celebration of Marriage. I know that Anthony and Danielle are grateful for your presence today and for your support on this very important day of their lives. It is their desire to affirm their vows to each other and before God in our presence here today. Anthony, will you take Danielle to be your wife, to live together to God's ordinance and the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep her unto yourself until death do you part? I sure will. And Danielle, will you take Anthony to be your husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? We love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself unto him so long as you both shall live. I will. All right, you can go stand beside her. <laughs> <laughs> you picked a beautiful day oh, for your wedding. Oh, I can I? Can I kiss him? Let me kiss him. You can practice. <laughs> yeah, we're practicing. <laughs> Anthony and Danielle, you picked a beautiful day for your wedding, but it's a good time to just stop and pause and ask, what makes a marriage last? What keeps a relationship strong? Well, the answer is kind of like building a house. I don't know if you've built a house yet, but especially here at the beach, you have to have a solid foundation because shifting sands and storms, we have shifting sands and storms of life can come into your marriage and you must have a solid foundation. And this foundation, it must be based upon true commitment of love. It can't be based upon feelings. Feelings change. Expectancies change. So you must base it upon true commitment of love. There's a, a, the Bible has a word in the Greek. It's, it's the word agape. You've probably heard that word agape. It means it's love. It's, it's, it's a love that desires the highest welfare of the other person loved. It's a love that, that reaches deeper than just, I love hot dogs. I love mama. I love baseball. You know, this, this is a deeper kind of love. It's love that comes from God. And if you can put this into your marriage, I can guarantee you that you'll have success. 1 Corinthians 13 is known as the love chapter. You've probably read it. It's love is patient, love is kind, love is so forth. I'm going to give you a couple things from there. If you'll put these into your marriage, again, I can guarantee you'll have success. The first one is this. It's a love that never gives up. This kind of love is able to endure anything. Illnesses, problems, losses, job changes, even relocations. Being in the military, you're probably moving a lot. So relocations is stressful, but this kind of love can make it over that. It's also a love that isn't me first. It doesn't fly off the handle. It's not resentful or irritable. It doesn't carry a chip on its shoulder. It drains bitterness quickly. I'm sure you've had some disagreements and maybe some pretty big fights at times. And you're gonna have those as part of a relationship. But here's the thing, you've got to let your love be stronger than any kind of dislike or hate that you have. My son came home one day and he and his girlfriend were having fights and arguments and he, he came home and says, Mom, I wanna marry somebody like you. And she kind of laughed, so what do you mean like me? He said, you know, like you and dad. You and dad will have a fight. And then five minutes later, it's, hey, where are you going to go out to eat? Let's do this, let's do that. And that's the kind of relationship you got to have. you got to let it go. You know, have your words and let it go. Don't hold grudges. Don't bring it up again, you know, in, in the a month or two weeks or, or three years later. It also puts up with anything. It knows how to keep silent in the face of criticism or neglect. And it doesn't pray the weakness of your mate to others. We all got weaknesses. There's things that all of us do. And you, you can make those weaknesses into something bigger. Here's the thing, Anthony, don't go to your friends or your family and talk about Danielle and tell her and tell them about the weaknesses because they'll support you. They will. And Danielle, don't go to your friends and family and talk about Anthony because they will support you. They'll say, if he was mine, I'd pack his bags and tell him to hit the road. That's, that's what they would say. But you can't share those things. Keep these to yourself and work through them. It puts up with anything. It's also a love that looks for the best. You're going to have bad days. It believes the purity. And, and, and goodness of, of your, each other's motives and intentions when discouragements or disagreements occur. In other words, you come home, she bites your head off, you let, her, let her have that moment. You know, don't read into it, just let her, and it's the same thing with you know, Anthony. He, he says something harsh, just let him have his moment and he'll, he'll be all right. You know, don't, don't make them bigger by fighting back. And it, it also is a love that keeps going to the end. It never dies. It persists. It's tenacious. It will endure despite all odds. In fact, Anthony and Daniel, this kind of love understands the importance of hanging in there and not running away. From this day forward, you can't run away. You can't move out. You can't go to mom. You can't, you can't go anywhere. You have to make it work. And, and it will work if you have that attitude. I, I, I think it was Billy Graham that said one time that 
he and his wife Ruth never considered divorce. He, they said murder, yes, but not divorce. It was just never an option. If you'll, ne if you'll never make that an option, you, you, won't, you won't have a problem with it. The last one is one of my favorites. It's what uh, an author called heroic love. And what he meant by this, it, it refers back to what I said at the beginning, that it's a love that sacrifices itself for the enrichment of the other person. Now, hear me out. Anthony, you've got to sacrifice and give up your desires, your goals, and your enrichment for Danielle. And Danielle, you've got to give up your goals, your desires, and your enrichment for Anthony. Now, both of you are one of you maybe thinking, but wait, 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 what about me? You know, if I give up all my, what about my? Here's the funny thing about this kind of love. When you sacrifice for each other, it, it's reciprocate. You sacrifice, Danielle can't help but sacrifice back. And it, it builds that strong, sacrificial love of circle that just keeps building one another up. And here's the kind of thing, here's the, here's the, the, the clincher for all this. If you will do this, Anthony, and Danielle, if you'll do this, Anthony, your, des your desires, your goals, and your enrichment will be beyond your imagination. And Danielle, yours will too, because you, you've, you've combined this together. So your goals and enrichment will be beyond, beyond anything that you could ever imagine if you will support one another and make sure that each other has their goals and dreams fulfilled. And then you'll say with Rudyard Kipling who said, love like ours can never die. That's my challenge, Anthony. Danielle, never let your love die. Keep it fresh, keep it alive, and keep it unselfish. I always do things for the, each other. If you'll face each other and join hands, we'll do our vows. You can hand your flowers off if you like. Do it, Leah. Anthony, I'm going to start with you as you look at your beautiful bride and her beautiful eyes. Repeat after me. I, Anthony. I, Anthony. Take you, Danielle. Take you, Danielle. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and cherish. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. My love and faithfulness. My love and faithfulness. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Okay, Danielle, as you look at Anthony, repeat after me. Uh, Danielle. Hi, I, Danielle. Take you, Anthony. Take you, Anthony. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. My love and faithfulness. My love and faithfulness. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. <laughs> Anthony, is there a ring? There is. If you'll take the ring and place it on Danielle's left hand ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I the wed. I the wed. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I'll ever be. And all that I'll ever be. I give to you. I give to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the Amen. name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Danielle, is there a ring? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Was it? Oh, so I forgot the marriage license. <laughs> and the ring? Now, now's the time to tell her. You should have waited. Okay, well, we're going to pretend that we have a ring and a... Fire. He forgot the ring, too? Yes. I will put something on him. I have something for him, but yes. I love it. So we got to come back to You tomorrow. have some great stories to tell. Okay, here we go. If you'll place the ring on Anthony's left-hand ring finger, repeat after me. With this ring... With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. And with all that I am. <laughs> and with all that I am. And all that I'll ever be. And all that I ever will be. I give to you. I give to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I be wed. Are we doing a sand? Yes. Sensor. Okay. Yes. We'll do that next. <laughs> Murder, but not divorce. Come and stand on each side. Yeah. <laughs> All three? Yes, and my daughter. Okay. Very good. Come on, baby. Which That's one? George, you're going to pour that one, and I'm going to pour this one, and Anthony's you will got that pour one. that one. Okay. <laughs> Danielle and Anthony, before you, each of you is a container of sand. One represents you, Anthony, and all that you are, all that you were, and all that you'll ever be. One represents you, Danielle, and all that you are, all that you were, and all that you'll ever be. They're each beautiful on themselves, just as each of you are beautiful as yourself. The interesting thing is, when this sand is blended together, along with your daughter, it forms an extraordinary new love relationship. Now I want you to think about something. 
You can never, once this sand is poured into this container, you can never pour it back into the individual containers. It's impossible. You can't do it. That's what we want your marriage to be, just as impossible to come apart. I'm also going to put just a little bit of sand in the bottom from here at Ocean Isle Beach where you got married as a keepsake. We're going to let that be represent two things. It's going to be the foundation of God's love in your marriage and the foundation of your love for each other. And if you, every time you see that, if you remember that was the foundation of your love, it will help you to make it through any discouragements or disagreements. Okay, you now blend that sand together on the foundation of love. And pour slowly. It makes it nicer. I believe Danielle got the big job there. I do. Looks good. <laughs> we can go back up. Okay. Very good, guys. <clears throat> Anthony and Danielle, may your love be as constant as the never ending waves flowing endlessly from the depths of the sea. Just as there'll never be a day without the flow of those waves, may there never be a day without your love for each other. Let's pray. Father, I pray that your blessings will be upon these, Anthony. Your servants and Anthony and Danielle whom we bless in your name today. Father I pray that you'll give them grace, you'll give them mercy in their marriage and Father I pray that uh, you'll, you'll bless them and that you will keep them in perfect harmony and peace and, and, and the love will grow constantly and they will keep the vows which they made which was symbolized by the rings given and received and even by the holding of hands and blending of sand. Lord, I pray that that will help them to, to be number be one in their relationship and stay strong together as, as one. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 For much as Anthony and Danielle have considered to get, have considered that they're uh, consented together, get the right word, in holy wedlock, and they have uh, witnessed the same before God in this company here today, we have, and have given, they have given and pledged their love and faithfulness each to the other. They have pledged it by the giving of a ring and sharing the blending of sand and by the holding of hands, I pronounce their husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Anthony and Danielle, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile upon you and be gracious to you. May he show you his favor and may he give you his peace, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll kiss again. Thank you may you. kiss your bride and husband. <laughs> wife and husband. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce for the first time Anthony and Danielle Garcia. <laughs> what God is doing, let not man put asunder. Now you're walking down the aisle. And I can't help but smile. And this is it. This is now. It's what I've been talking about Looking out, I can see forever So take my hand, just take it in This is the moment we won't forget On top of the world, here together Surrounded by our family and our friends This is it.